Hi guys! So, we have had some good luck with the okra seeds. All four of them have started sprouting. Bell pepper seeds don't really look like they're sprouting yet. Here's a close up. Whoa. So, what we're gonna do is these three okra that have already got a good amount of uh, sprouting going, we're gonna put in pots. Trusty letter opener is handy for this. Don't want to make a huge mess with the soil because it is packed to the brim. Oh, I'm already spilling some. Figures. Alright, there's oh, that. And let's see. This does have holes in the bottom, but maybe I'll get it to work like I want. Oh, well, kind of. Sorry, I'm ruining your view while I fight with dirt, which you can't even see. There it is. It's a big old bag. I will probably use most of this just preparing for spring planting. I've got Lots of pots outside. I've got four buckets that I'm going to be using as pots for my okra once they're big enough to be transplanted. Oop. The soil is kind of moist already. Interesting. So. Now, if you're curious as to what type of soil this is, it is simply miracle Grow potting mix. Um, it's really great for seed starters, gives them extra nutrients and stuff that they need to get started. And then once I put them out in, just lightly pack that a little. I'm just patting the top of it so it'll squish down a little so that it doesn't have a bunch of air pockets but we want it still loose so that the seedling will have plenty of room for its roots to push around in the soil. We don't want it too tightly packed, otherwise it will smother the roots. I'm making mess. Anyway, so what I've done here is I've filled it with that much room to go for these okra seeds, let me grab the packet for it. So it says to sew it a depth of one inch down. Um, so an average well-worked soil after all danger of frost in rows of 36 inches apart Plant three or four seeds every 12 inches and cover with one inch of fine soil, firm lightly, which is kind of that packing that we did. Plants emerge in 14 to 21 days. Thin to strongest seedling when plants are a half inch high. So typically what a lot of people do is rather than doing a paper towel with moisture to germinate the seeds, They'll plant multiples in one spot in case one of the seeds doesn't end up germinating and then pulling the extras so that the healthiest of all the seeds in that spot will grow the biggest. So for example, if I put two seeds in here and they both started growing, but one was taller and more vibrant than the other, I would weed out the smaller one so that the healthier one has the best chance of success. So, 
Here we go. First one in. And you can just put it in sideways like that. And gravity will do the rest of the work as far as growth goes. Because the plant, when it starts to grow its stem, will automatically seek out sunlight and warmth. So it'll be drawn towards the warmth of the top layer of soil from sunlight. All right, now, I'm trying to break up this soil in this bag is a little awkward. We cover, that's about quarter to a half inch, I think. A little bit more. Even it out. And then just lightly press down, which is firming it, more compact soil. But again, I'm being very gentle about it, just applying very light pressure like you would on a infant if you were checking them for temperature, I guess. That's how you can think of it. Just lightly patting. And as you can see, the top of it looks nice. Oops, sorry. Nice and even, and I turn it sideways, and only a little bit of it's trying to fall. So it's lightly packed. That one is prepared. And rather than wasting a bunch of video time, because this is already six minutes long, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there, but just know that I did the exact same for the rest of the okra seeds. And we're still waiting on those bell pepper seeds to sprout.